Welcome to the Blue Valley North Library webpage. This video will show you how to finalize and turn in your Audacity project. At this point, you have recorded a file in Audacity and made the edits that you desire. Let's say that the bell rings, but you still need to come back and do more editing. Click on File, then Save Project As. This will allow you to reopen your project later for editing. This message simply states that you are saving Audacity project file that will not open on a computer without Audacity software. Click OK and name your file. Save it where you'd like in your computer and this will be a project that you could reopen later. Once your project is completely done and you are ready to turn it in, you first must export it as an MP3. Click on File then export as mp3. The first time you use Audacity for exporting on your computer, you will have one extra step. Audacity uses a secondary piece of software for exporting, which you will have to locate. This message simply states that all of your tracks will be mixed down to a single channel. Name your file and choose where you'd like to save it. Then Audacity will show you a message and ask you to find the Lame Encoder. To do this, you'll go to Local Disk C, you'll choose Program Files, find the Audacity folder, and you'll double click on the bottom icon called the Lame Encoder. The Lame Encoder will be listed underneath Plugins in this folder. Once you are exporting your MP3, Audacity will ask you for some more information. This is the kind of information that will show up on a portable device. You can give a title for your project, the artist, the album, the genre, and the comments. Although you don't have to add any of this information if you don't plan on transfer transferring it to a portable device. Once your project has been exported, simply look for it on the desktop. You will find two files. This file is my Audacity project. This is what I would need if I were going to edit it again later. The final version of my Audacity project is located here. You'll notice that it is a Windows Media Player file. And when you open it, it opens in Windows Media Player. The file that you are going to turn in is the Windows Media file. In order to do this, copy and paste it into your folder. And then from your folder, you can copy it again, and you'll need to turn it in a My Resources folder. So browse to Resources, choose Teachers, choose Mrs. Cornelius, and then go put it in the inbox in the appropriate folder. Now you are ready to finalize and turn in your podcast. If you still need more help, view the other tutorials on the website. <laughs>